Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow333 with another match for you, another FP VOD, this time on Desecrated Temple. It's a four player map, but thanks to my new monitor being set up for 1v1s, it can be played as 1v1. So I'm playing against Shalka, and I don't know where he is right now because it's also randomizing positions. Really handy little feature. So basically, any of you who've played StarCraft, this should be a very familiar setup where you have two players on a four player map, randomized positions randomized not location. They don't know where anyone else is, and they themselves start out in an unpredicted spot. So hopefully this should work out quite well as well in Akron, but I haven't really tested it yet. Apparently it does work out well though. So just gonna set up my basic base building, and also I'm gonna try to do some tricks with echo scouting, see if I can get one Octo to scout all three positions at roughly the same time in the game time. And also, when I'm doing that, I will go over the map structure as well, although, once again, those of you who are StarCraft players out there, this is basically Lost Temple. I'm just gonna go out there and say it, this is Lost Temple. So, got Octo going up there, and then I have... Like I said before, I'm gonna have two... Oh, actually, I'm gonna have to do this a bit differently, aren't I? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to send more, more than one Octo then. So, one Octo is going up there, and then I'll have it also continue along down the rest of the map hopefully find Shalka pretty quickly, because I don't know where Shalka is, like I said, and I might as well just drop everything down. So, at this point, I'm... No, I don't know where Shalka is, I also don't know what race he's playing, because of the way that Akron works specifically. So, at this point, I'm just trying to figure it out as best I can, as quickly as I can, before it becomes a problem for me. Because once that happens, then it's going to be really hard to recover if I don't know what he is and he rushes me or something. Okay. Just getting, but I got my tech up now, so I'm getting my tech up so I can get air units up. My Octo hasn't reached anything yet. And so, I guess this is probably as good a time as any to go over the map itself. As soon as this Seppi is... I'm going to make sure that Seppi is done. i pause right here. So, the map basic structure is main base, natural, and there's also a nice little third expansion back here. And this is basically the case for every single base as well. On top of that, there's also a couple islands in the corners. So there's an island right here, and an island over in the top left. And there's a bunch of little trenches and nooks and crannies, and various places that players can go to place their units and be safe and everything. So, anyway, getting back into the game. So at this point it looks like, oh, it looks like my auto has found Shalka. Shalka, so we're at cross positions, both playing Grekum. So, now I know where he is, now I've got to figure out how, what I can do about it. So he's playing Grekum, and that's probably one of the races I'm least comfortable playing against as Grekum. So, this is going to be a bit of a challenging match, but hopefully it's not too much of a problem. I... oh shit. I apparently built one too many Octos, so I'm going to have to get one of these Octos to go build a resource processor somewhere else. And once I get this done, I can build some air units, though I don't know what he's going for, and since he is Grek, we can easily get a bunch of Cephis and counter all my air units, so I will have to supplement them with ground units as well, because otherwise that's going to be just a waste of effort. Anyway, so this Octo is scouting out the base, knows what's going on. Shalgan hasn't done anything about it yet. Possibly he hasn't actually ultimately gone Grek. He may have actually changed his race just now, and I don't know about it yet because my scout saw what was on the first time wave. Although, it looks like, you know, he hasn't changed much yet either. So, eventually the scout will presumably die, but at this point the scout is getting some useful info that Shalka is not doing anything at that point in time. So, okay, I suppose it's not entirely useful info, that's more useless info. But, it's still info. Still know what he's up to. Okay, now, now something meaningful is coming. He does have an Octo coming to my base, killing my Faro, that's supposed to become a Spire. Oh crap, come on, move back, move back, move back, heal up, move back. Get out of there, get out of there. No, don't die, I can't have you die, I can't lose you! Oh, okay, there you go. Seriously, I can't, I need him for the spire. Anyway, where is it? Okay. Now advanced structures is almost done, and I can build a spire. Phew, well that was close. I needed that spire. Oh crap, you may have actually killed that far ultimately. Oh boy, now I've got to make sure that he doesn't do anything tricky on top of this, because I do not want to lose this Spire here. This Spire is going to be very important, and it looks like... 
It looks like it is healing up. It looks like everything will be fine, but it's really hard to tell. Let's try to get some more units going, and hopefully I can get enough money for some air units. Go and... Well, I have some air units. Okay, now I can get a fire pod up. And I can get a fire pod up. Not a heavy pod, which is what I was trying to build, but failed. So at this point, getting a bit of an army, and I should probably actually build a bit more to my natural expansion as well. I'm going to need more money... And oh crap, I'm being attacked for- Oh no, oh no, oh no. Seriously, an octopod? Oh no, this is bad. This is very bad. I'm not going to be able to deal with this. See, like I said, I don't know if he's going for a rush or not, and I'm really bad at Grekum versus Grekum. So, this is a bit of a short match. I don't think there's really any way for me to get out of this right now. And yeah, I think everything's just dead. Wow, I didn't realize Octus was so powerful. It must have been buffed up in the last patch. Yeah, this is not going well at all for me. I guess... So my best bet is to deprogenerate everyone and hope for the best that they can actually fight back, but I really doubt it. I think, yeah, we're not dealing with something I can deal with here. Okay, well, that was a really good rush on Shalka's part. I gotta give him that. And I guess that is going to be the game. So I hope you enjoyed watching this brief informative game on how Grekum can be completely obliterated by another Grekum player. And I really don't see what else I can possibly do. I'm going to try to flail wildly, see if I can do something, but I think I'm dead. So yeah, I think it's GG, so hope you enjoyed watching, and that was the game.